Next, uh, in the causes of biodiversity losses, already in previous class we discussed uh, their habitat loss and also fragmentation and also over exploitation. In the third one, allied species invasion. Alien species invasion. So here invasive, here invasive means harmful or damage. Harmful or damage. Alien species. Alien species means it is the new species. Okay, new species it can be damaged. New species that can be introduced. So, what is the definition of this alliance species invasion? When any new species enter into a new habitat, okay, this alliance species, this alliance species introduce into a any new habitat. It gets terms, those species are terms invasive. So the allied species are introduced into any new habitat, it turns invasive. So in the invasive means already I told it is a harmful and uh, they are those species are establish themselves. Those species are what are the these species are. Establish themselves. Okay, establish themselves at the cost of indigenous species. Indigenous species. So once again, see the point. So allied species invasion means allied species that means that any new species are introduced into any new habitat and uh, it turns invasive and also they establish themselves at the cost of indigenous species. That means what? Allied species, the new species, any new habitat are introduced. That term it is invasive, that is very harmful. And also, what are the new species are the present that is established themselves? That is, what are the species? They are through the process of reproduction, maybe their population it can be increases. Okay, and the population that can increases, it behave like a what is this one? It is a native species. Their population can be increased, their population can be increased. What are the native species? The indigenous species, what are the native species that can be disappear? So that means any new species are introduced into any new habitat. They are the terms, it is invasive and also establish themselves at the cost of indigenous species. That means here their population, the new species, their population can be increases. What are the native species? That means already before the existing species that can be disappear whenever this in whenever it is entered into such a place. Suppose for example. So, suppose for example, the species such as the Nile Perk, the Nile Perk is introduced into a Lake Victoria, Lake Victoria, where it is located here, near it, as this is uh, East Africa, East African region. The Nile Perk is introduced into Lake Victoria. So what happens? It is uh, nearly it is a uh, two hundred species of cichlid fishes. Okay, nearly two hundred species of it is a uh, cichlid fishes are it is extinct. Then. Nearly two hundred species of cichlid fishes are extended. extinct. Extinct. Extinct means here extinct is the period. Whenever it is, that means the Nile Perk is an alien species. 
introduced into a new habitat in Switzerland and it is the Lake Victoria in the tropical region. So in the, in the lake what are the native fishes? It is a cichlid fishes. Nearly 200 species of cichlid fishes are extinct. So those population can be established in the sphere. So automatically the native species are here. Whenever it is introduced, the population increase, the cichlid fishes are extinct. One more example here, the, the African catfish. This is African catfish. Example, this is scientific name Glarius. Clarius garipinus. Clarius garipinus. Okay. Clarius garipinus are introduced into the mesa. The illegal introduction of the illegal. That means not it is the what do you call it is a legal. Illegally introduced this African catfish. For which purpose? So the illegal introduction of this African catfish. For which purpose means uh, here culturing purpose. Which purpose? Culturing purpose. Okay. So the illegal introduction of African catfish for aquaculture purpose. So what will happen uh, here? What will happen? It is a pouring a threat to indigenous catfish. Pouring a threat to indigenous catfish. So indigenous catfish is a threat to. Whenever it is introduced, there is a threat to indigenous catfish. Threat to indigenous catfishes. So already in the aquaculture purpose it is introduced. So whenever this fish is introduced for aquaculture purpose. So in aquaculture purpose in the, on the pond or maybe so in such an area it is already indigenous catfish. That means native species are native catfish are present. Whenever this African catfish are introduced in such a aquaculture purpose, already native, native catfish species can be extinct. Okay, so this is one more example the illegal introduction of African catfish, that is the scientific name Clarius garipinus. It is a, mainly it is a, a pouring a threat to indigenous catfish. And one more example here the invasive weeds like. Invasive weeds. The invasive weeds like a, what is the example here? Carrot grass. The scientific name it is a pardinium. And a Spanish flag. The scientific name it is a lantana. Okay, and uh, water hyacinth, water hyacinth, that is the scientific name, it is Icornia. So, the invasive the exotic species, the, the, the invasive weeds like it is a carrot grass and Spanish flag and water hyacinth are introduced into new habitat. What will happen here? It is a uh, Damage the environment. It can be damage the environment. Okay, and also particularly it is uh, damage the environment. And also, what are the existence native species? Existence native species. The native species also it is uh, native species. It is also extinct. Okay, so these are the three different examples. Once again, see the alliance species invasion means so we are any new alliance species that means a new species are introduced to any new habitat. So it turns into invasive and also establish themselves. Okay, establish themselves at the cost of it is the indigenous species. So one example of the Nile pack. So here the Nile pack is introduced into Lake Victoria. It is located in East Africa. So it is whenever the Nile pack is introduced into the lake. So what are the existence? It is a fishes. 
that exists as this 200 species of cichlid which are it is extinct and then the illegal introduction of African catfish that is the scientific name it is a clarius garipylus so illegally introduced for aquaculture purpose so whenever this African catfish are introduced what are the native species that is pouring threat to indigenous catfish so already it is a in the aquaculture purpose already cultivated already cultured in the already present in the catfish it is extinct whenever this African catfish are introduced and also the invasive weeds the invasive weeds, the harmful weeds it is uh, introduced in, in India. So what will happen? That is examples such as in the carrot grass, Pagdinin histophorus, and Spanish like lantana, and uh, what hyas in the Iconia. So these species are introduced into any habitat. What will happen? It is damage the environment. Okay, it damages the environment, and also what are the existing species? That means the native species are it can be extinct. Okay, so this is the aligned species in the shan. Okay, next. Fourth one, fourth one, coexist, co extinct. Co-extension. Co-extension means suppose here the interaction between the two organisms. One species it can be extinct automatically, and the species also it can be extinct. Suppose here, example it is the plants and also animals. Plants and animals they interact to live each other. Okay, so whenever it is the uh, here plants, it can be extinct automatically. The animal also extinct, and also parasite and host relationship. Parasite and also host. So most of the par parasites are can be requiring is the host organisms. Whenever this is the host organism, it can be extinct. So automatically, it is a parasite also it can be extinct. That's how we call it is the co-extinction. Okay, co-extinct. Okay, these are the four, it is the causes of biodiversity losses, very very important for five marks, I mean three marks or two marks here for one marks point of view it is very very important, causes of biodiversity losses, one more we call it is the threats to biodiversity. Already first we discussed habitat loss and fragmentation, second one it is the over exploitation, third one it is aligned species invasion and fourth one it is the co-extension. Okay, here fourth one is the co-extension. Okay, next class, next we are going to discuss the other concept. Next, we are going to discuss the other concept. Why should we consider the biodiversity? Okay, already losses of biodiversity. What are the losses of biodiversity reasons we discussed? Okay, biodiversity reasons. Why nowadays have so much of species and it can be disappear? So, because of reason already said it is an environmental uh, environmental it is the stress that means environmental loss lowering of environmental losses and plant productivity and a different ecosystems services that can be increased all these are we discussed and also here what are the causes of biodiversity losses what are the main reasons so here how we are lost the biodiversity we discussed why we should conserve the biodiversity so that based upon there are three categories wise device they are divided so the biodiversity conservation why should we conserve based upon biodiversity conservation methods are different are there so why should we conserve in the methods there are uh, three different types first one narrow utilitarian Narrow utilitarian 
and also second one broadly utilitarian and also third one it is ethical third one it is ethical once again see why should we consider the biodiversity what are the why we are considering these organisms these are what are the plants and the animals so they are categorized into a three based upon this we are this an narrow utilitarian and broadly here what is this one broadly utilitarian and ethical issue ethical so narrow utilitarian first of all it is a narrow utilitarian narrow means very low narrow utilitarian which one are there and broadly utilize purpose these are organisms uh, why you are uh, concerning the species ethically we are why you are concerned once again see the narrow utilitarian narrow means very low in the on the app why should we concern and as a broadly so in the atmosphere broadly why you are conserving so the spaces and ethically why you are conserving the spaces that's you can see here first one we are discussing about here narrow utilitarian so first one the human being first one narrow utilitarian so in the narrow utilitarian human being derives countless economic benefits countless economic benefits where mainly it is uh, nature food okay so nature food so the human being the human being humans are derives countless it is we cannot find how much of it is we are uh, they are taking the material to all this okay the humans derive countless economic benefits from nature food the nature only providing the food what are the suppose general examples such as it is uh, particularly here cereals and also pulses and also fruits so these are the nature only providing the food materials next uh, here one more fiber and also firewood and also construction material okay and also industrial material industrial material so the industrial material what are they mean particularly here tannins resins okay and perfumes okay perfumes and also lubricants okay lubricants and uh, dyes so these are the in most of the industrial materials okay the human being that means humans there are countless economic benefits the told you provide the nature that food material such as it is a cereal pulses and fruits and as a fiber material and firewood and construction materials or the what are the presence of it is industrial made products okay that is industrial products that means sir, the industrial products the industrial products such as it is tannin resins perfumes drug main these are lubricants and dyes so the nature only can be provided next more than more than 25% of drugs more than 25% of drugs currently sold in the market currently sold in the market it only comes from the plants it only comes from the 
plants. Okay. Next, one more point. So, one more point. What are they? So, another point. Uh, the bio prospecting. The bio prospecting nations end out here, end out, end out means here provide. Okay, end out means provide. So the bio prospecting nations end out, they will provide rich biodiversity. So rich biodiversity. Rich bio diversity. So rich biodiversity, if you present, what will happen here? So it is a uh, can accept. It can accept. Uh, it can accept the reap. Reap means here use here the more benefits. More benefits. Okay. So these are the narrow utilitarian main some of the basic uh, main measure. It is the utilitarian part. So here the on the ads. So narrow utilitarian means here particularly the human beings here countless economic benefits such as food, such as cereals and fibers, so firewood and industrial products. And more than 25% of drugs currently is sold out in the market. All these are comes from the plants. Most of the bio prospecting nations, that means most of the rich biodiversity. Which biodiversity means the plants, the animals, micro, more number of it is a species of present in such a countries, such a bio prospecting nations and provide rich biodiversity. Rich biodiversity a variety number of plants and animals are present. So that's why that can accept, that means uh, we use the more benefits. Why we can more benefits such a plants and animals are present means so much of productivity produced. Products are produced, such a products are it can be sold in the market. So that's what we like that can be supplied to other countries also. So that's why it may be medically or maybe or uh, any other antibiotics, proteins, whatever it is, anything it can be comes from the such a variety of uh, species. So that's why we are the rich by the, so that's why well developed such a countries. Okay, this is narrow utilitarian. And uh, second one, it is uh, broadly utilitarian. So broadly utilitarian means actually many, most of the many ecosystem services we can see. So here broadly the environment utilizes, the environment utilizes, the environment utilizes means actually here the nature provides all these things. We cannot put any price tags. Suppose any product you can prepare, so the such a price tags will they are put such investors that is MNC companies. But nature, what they are preparing that we can put a price tags. The nature only to providing naturally. What are the resources? Everything resources that can be nature only provide. So such a nature provide such a services we can't put any price tax. So that's why that is broadly utilitarian. So the broadly utilitarian particularly you can see the biodiversity play a major role. The biodiversity, the biodiversity play a major role. Major role. What are they? They are ecosystem service. Ecosystem service. So, what are the ecosystem surveys? These ecosystem surveys it provide only nature. Provide only nature. That's what is the ecosystem services. Suppose uh, here carbon cycle, nitrogen cycle, phosphorus cycle. So, all these they are different kinds of elements. 
this is the nature only it can be recycled and also main pollination main pollination by pollinating agent so pollination by pollinating agent such as it is a bees bumble bees bumble bees means insects and birds bats all these things nature only provide nature only provide okay the broadly it means the biodiversity play plays a role that's a many ecosystem services that may be their nature only providing the different types of services so that's why such a services where without we that means particular which mainly we can't put any price tags which we can't put any price tags okay so that's why the main what are the main ecosystem services means it is the pollination by pollinating agent these are the one of the example nature only provide that is pollination name and also Uh, what is this ecosystem service? Particularly, it is a carbon cycle, nature and carbon cycle, and uh, nitrogen cycle, and phosphorus cycle, and also nutrient recycling. Everything it is mainly nature only provide. Okay. So next broadly, it means also. I'm just uh, one more example. It is Amazon rainforest. So in Amazon, Amazon rainforest, twenty percent of oxygen. Mainly, it is a twenty percent of oxygen present only. Earth's atmosphere. Earth atmosphere. So Amazon rainforest this comes from only the 20% of its oxygen from so Earth atmosphere. So that's why this Amazon rainforest generally we call it is the lungs of our planet. So this is the nature. The Amazon rainforest the plants only to provide us such a oxygen. Nature only so very broadly. So what is the ecosystem services? This also depends on the act. Everything it is uh, nature only provided. Okay, that's it. Next uh, here third one, it is uh, ethical. So here third one it is ethical. So actually ethical means moral duty to pay, moral values. Every human being has moral values. It's need moral values, moral duty to care. Pass on biological legacy to the future generation is a needs as every species has an intrinsic value. Okay, once I get this point, so moral duty to take care. That means every organ, every human being have a moral duty to take care. So that's why we are conserving the species. So pass on biological legacy to future generation. So these are what are the these moral values. So in uh, these everything these values are it is. Uh, We are passed on to the future generation. So such a intrinsic value means what are the intrinsic value means? So what are the productivity? What are the everything we can uh, supply to the future generation also? If you supply such a generation means so such a values we have to give to our next generation also. If you give such a like if you we are giving to the next generation, so automatically what will happen? So what are the productivity? What are the uh, products? Everything we are utilize such a products also next generation it can be utilized. Now in this generation we are automatically extinct. That means in this generation what are utilized the products producing from the, such a plants and animals? Such a species are in nowadays it can be extinct. In future generation we can't see. So that's why. So human being have it is a year. Everyone have it is ethical values. It is required. So that's why we are conserving the spaces. So all this narrow based upon and broadly based upon ethical based upon. So that's why we are conserving the spaces. So this this uh, conserving the spaces. These three methods they are grouped into three categories. Next we are going to the types of conservation. Okay, types of conservation. We'll see the next class.